everyone, my name is Michelle and welcome to Wake and Bake. One of my favorite things to do in the morning is to wake up and bake a yummy sweet confection. And to also have coffee or tea. But something about waking up and baking is so relaxing for me. Today we're going to make what I call my starry night macarons. I personally call them macarons instead of macarons since I'm not French. They were inspired by the galaxy macarons that were trending for a really long time. But I put my own little spin on it. They were also inspired by the beautiful night sky, when there are no city lights for distractions, and the moon and the stars are shining so bright. Okay, so before we get started, if you haven't already, please subscribe for more Wake and Bake video tutorials. Okay, let's begin. First, we're going to start with the dry ingredients. I'm going to combine 65 grams of almond flour with 65 grams of powdered sugar. I do measure everything with a food scale in grams as macaroons can be really finicky. I've already sifted both with a mesh strainer prior to mixing. I get my almond flour in bulk off of Amazon, but I've also seen it at Trader Joe's. You will want to mix together and then set aside for later. Next, I'm putting in 50 grams, which is about two egg whites into my mixer. I'm using my stand mixer here, but you can definitely use a handheld mixer for this part. Once my egg whites get frothy, I will add in 50 grams of sugar. You'll want to mix this on medium-high for about 8 minutes, and you'll start to see your meringue turn white and fluffy. As the meringue gets more stiff, I will then add my purple food coloring. And I recommend gel coloring for macaroons, as liquid food coloring can affect the consistency. I usually use Wilton for my food colors, which I will link down below. I'll continue to mix this on low to medium until it's incorporated for about another two minutes. At the end, when you lift your whisk, you will see a peak form and you will know it's ready. The meringue is now done and I'm going to transfer it to a bowl for easier mixing. Next, I'm going to mix the meringue and the dry ingredients and I want to get it to just the right consistency. First, I'll estimate and pour in half of the mixture and after it's lightly incorporated, then I'll add the rest of the dry mixture and mix until it is fully combined. I like to scoop under the batter and then push down on it from above to deflate the meringue. and your batter will then look like this. It's a bit like runny lava, and I know that's hard to imagine if you haven't been inside a volcano. Not that I have either, but I just use my imagination. Once the batter is ready to go, I'm gonna transfer it into a piping bag with a round piping tip. I'm using a piping bag here, but you can always use a Ziploc bag and cut off a corner. I always do that if I run out of piping bags, and they work great. Also, putting the bag in a cup makes it easier than trying to hold it with your hand. I have lined my baking sheet with parchment paper, and I use a macaroon template that I have linked below. It makes it so much easier to pipe equal sized macarons. You'll want to just pipe out the circles to the outer edges of the template. After the piping is done, I'll wrap the pan a few times on the counter to get any air bubbles out and remove the template. You can also use a toothpick to get out any stubborn air bubbles. You will then want to rest your macaroons for a half an hour to one hour, depending on the humidity in your area. This allows the macaroons to form a skin so they can rise successfully and create ruffled feet along the sides. You'll be able to tell the macaroon skin is dry when you can touch it lightly. It's like lightly petting your macaroon. Now they're time for the oven. I'll pop them in at 295 degrees for 14 minutes, rotating halfway through. While our macaroons cook, we'll go ahead and make our buttercream for the filling. You'll want to use a half a cup of butter and mix it until it's nice and fluffy. I'll then add two cups of powdered sugar and mix that all up together.
Once it is incorporated, I will add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a tablespoon of milk to add a little bit more creaminess. Now I'll use gel food coloring to make the buttercream blue to match the color of the sky. I'll also scrape down the bowl with my spatula to get rid of any leftover white buttercream. The buttercream is all ready to go and I'm going to put it into another piping bag with a round piping tip. The macaroons are done and when they come out they will have nice little feet around the bottoms. Now it's time to put them together. I'll pipe some buttercream on half of the macaroons and then place them together to make a cute little macaroon sandwich. Just continue until all the macaroons are placed together. Now comes time to decorate the macaroons. The first step is using an edible gold spray from Michaels. It reminds me of faraway stars that look like stardust. I also sprayed them on a piece of paper to avoid a mess. Just have fun with it! Spraying with edible food color is so quick and easy. Before the gold spray dries, I'm going to sprinkle some tiny edible gold stars onto the macaroons. The gold spray acts like a natural glue for the stars. I'll just finish decorating the rest of the macaroons with the gold sprinkles. It's time for the finishing touches. I'm using plain royal icing and I'll leave a recipe in the description box below. Any small piping tip will do, or you can cut off a small corner of a Ziploc bag. You will want to first pipe a few dots on the macaroons to represent small stars in a distance. I will then pipe out the moons. I like crescent moons and I think it looks really pretty and complements the stars really well. You can continue adding any additional white stars to your liking. There you have it, my Starry Night Macaroons. I'm super happy with how these turned out. And I think the gold spray really adds a pop of color and dimension. And personally, I love everything in edible gold. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can follow me in all my social media links down below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.